We did it, MC. It was a very interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it was telling someone else's life. Like a biography. Whatever. Even though I finished, none has come back. No one has come back. Yes. And I have been here like an hour or so. Alright, we're back. We're back to where we were. Hmm, there's no one around. Once again, no one. So, it's here again. But I see that the skip button never appeared yet. So let me go a little bit further. I wanted to ask someone, but... Ah! Hey! Hmm, you are? Okay, this like, this seems like a good place where it would overlap. So I'm going to save that one over this. That's our not ski route. And we're going to reload this one, which was our Yuri route. And we'll continue with the Yuri route like normal. There's nobody around. I wanted to ask someone, but... Ah! Hey! It's still different! Why? Why would these not be the same dialogues? <sighs> guys, guys, learn to use fork conditions. You just... If variable this, else that. Oh, it saves you so much trouble. And then you don't have to correct errors in double places. You're making double work for yourself. Hmm, you are. All right, you are in the literature club. Is, some is something the matter? Yeah. Have you seen Yuri, the tall purple hair girl? Oh, okay, this is why it's different. It's because he brings up whichever girl he's still on the route of. But still, you can, like... It's not like it has to be one big block of text. You can make it conditional branches anywhere you need them. Yuri, if I'm not mistaken, she was heading to the infirmary. The infirmary? Did something happen? I don't know, but she was very shaken by something. I see, thanks. I start heading there. That should be enough. I arrived at the infirmary. Arrive. Don't need the D. If it was past tense, he would already be there. There's no one here. Mm, question mark ahead of it? Someone is on that bed. Uh, was there supposed to be like a word or phrase before this question mark? You can get rid of it if not. Yuri? Hm. Just as she heard my voice, she covered herself with the blanket. Suddenly, I can't talk to you. I suddenly get tense and start shivering. There you go, copy and pasting things again, man. Sorry. If this time is worse. Holly, are you still there? I am. The thing is, I'm literally across the room. Also, if you want to get a BG for an infirmary, uh, I s believe I saw one in club meetings, I want to say. Not sure. I know there's one out there somewhere, but there is uh, there is an infirmary that's able to be used. Let it cross the room. Thank goodness no one is here, because this would be more awkward than it is. Oh, but I guess we've also got a CG for it. You are. She just takes a quick glance at me. At least like this, nothing should happen. Here he's starting to cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hallie. I can't suppress this fear. I just want to run away from you, even though you are such a nice person. You keep talking to me when I'm this weird. She just keeps sniffing. This hurts me. You must think I'm a horrible person. Why is this happening? I just wanted to know you, talk to you, but this fear just surpasses my feelings. Her feelings? Huh. Capitalize it, because it's like the start of his thoughts. I wanted to be closer to you. To go out with you. To... But... I'm sorry, Holly. Now she's really crying. And talking to her might just make her more afraid. What the fuck is this? That's kind of an extreme reaction, but okay. Yuri is bearing her feelings in front of me, and I can't do anything? This is a curse. My chest hurts so bad, it's suffocating me. I have the book still in my hands. I took a pen and... I take a pen and write something in the last page of the book? In that case, it could be either in or on, but I... Uh, I think I would go with on still. And silently give it to Yuri before I leave. He defaced my book! <gasps> I do... 
wanted to be closer to you. Sorry I can't say it, but at least keep in mind that I don't hate you. Holly. Hmm. Seems like nobody's able to be honest with each other here. I came back to the club. Or like, show their honest feelings, rather. What the hell? What happened with Yuri? This curse is trying to keep me away from her. Hmm? Huh? It's Sayori. Yeah, I still feel she's odd. Hey, how did it go? I think it went well. She seems a little down. Did something happen? I don't know, but... Kelly, what do you think of me? What? Have I been weird recently? Nods. <laughs> I see. What did Naki Sensei tell you? T tell, told you. Tell. What did she tell you? I don't remember. Rather, I don't remember anything since today's very early morning. When you came to my room. What? Then... Uh, what about this morning? Did something happen this morning? Nothing really special, but earlier, I mean, you were pretty mean to Maki-sensei. I don't really remember. Also, I feel like I'm not myself. What do you mean? I don't know. The only thing I feel is cold. I take her hand. Whoa, she's really cold. What's happening to me? I would like to know what to do. Er, <laughs> I, that's not what it said at all. It said, I would like to know that too. Everything has changed, isn't it? Hasn't it? If you're going to use uh, has there, it has to be hasn't it here. Since you came here, everything changed. But if I were to be honest, everything is more fun now. It doesn't look like that to me. Why? You can't say it's more fun with such a sad expression. Huh? She just puts her hands on her cheeks. So strange. I was trying to smile. I don't even feel happiness. What is this? Sayori? Uh, was I supposed to say that out loud? That won't do, Sayori. Monica, you can't think like that. I don't know what that false teacher told you, but... Mm. You shouldn't be thinking such complicated things. <laughs> You're right, Monica. Sorry, Ali, I was just being weird. Don't worry about me. Well then, why don't we call the other members and share our stories? It's an out. It should be an R. Eh. I'm not in the mood of that. Mood for that. With everything that has happened today, I... Sorry, Monica. I don't feel very good right now. Can I go home earlier? Go home early? It doesn't need to be earlier, just E-R-L-Y. Or E-A-R-L-Y. <laughs> I can spell. Sh sure. Sorry for just leaving like this. It's okay. If you feel unwell, then there's nothing to do. I'll see you tomorrow. Damn it! Another day, another night. I guess I'll have to go back and see what Natsuki's scene for that was like, too. In fact, you know what? Let's do it right now. Because this actually does seem like a good spot where we would be off of Yuri's. Uh, oh shoot, which one did I save where? Uh, I went this far on Natsuki's, right? So this was Yuri's? I don't remember. I'm gonna make a new save. Here. The lower one's Natsuki's, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna load back up. <laughs> and we'll see. If this is all new text, then I guess we'll know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're back on the other route. Have you seen Natsuki? Okay. Up, 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 up. Is something the matter? Yeah. Have you seen Natsuki? The short pink-haired girl? Pink-haired ED. Natsuki. If I'm not mistaken, she was heading to the rooftop. The rooftop? Did something happen? 
I don't know, but she was very angry by something. Angry about something. I see, thanks. I start heading there. That should be enough. Hmm. I arrived at the rooftop. Drop the date. There's nobody here. Somebody is behind there. A weird question mark again. Natsuki? Hmm. Just as she heard my voice, she slammed her fist loudly against the wall. Now, every time you talk, or when you get near me, space, an incredible rage fills me. I can't stand your voice or your presence. If this time is worse. Are you still there, Hallie? I am. The thing is, a whole wall is between us. Thank goodness no one is here, because this would be more awkward than it is. She knows I'm behind her. At least like this, nothing sh should happen. Gah. Natsuki's starting to cry. Sorry. I'm sorry, Hallie. I can't with this wrath. I feel like I just want to tear you apart. Even though you have been nice with me. Nice to me. You even know my secret and how screwed up I have been recently. You still talk to me. To this wicked me. She just keeps sniffing. This hurts me. You must think I'm such a horrible person. Why is this happening? I just wanted to talk to you. But this wrath overtakes my feelings. Her feelings, huh? I wanted to be closer to you. To be friends. To be more. But... I'm sorry, Hallie. Now she's really crying. And talking to her might just make her more agitated. What the fuck is this? Noski is bearing her feelings to me and I can't say anything. This is a curse. My chest... My chest hurts so bad. My chest hurts... So bad? It's suffocating me? Did it say that last time too? If it did, you need to drop that S. My chest hurts. You only need one S. Yeah. One S in chest. I have the manga still in my hands. I take a pen and write something in the last page. Last page. And silently give it to Natsuki before leaving. I too wanted to be closer to you. Sorry I can't say it, but at least keep in mind that I don't hate you. Kelly. Okay, there we go. Now we're back to where we can skip. Okay. What happened with Natsuki? I think you forgot your punctuation there, my guy. Bup, 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 bup. And we're right back here. Okay. So we know that for sure this was the Natsuki route. Natsuki. Yuri. I'm gonna delete this one. Get rid of it. Oh. I don't think I pushed the right button. Wait, wait, wait. Delete. Yes. I don't have delete map to my controller. Okay. Uh, let me just check the time real quick. Okay, we can go a little bit longer. I'm gonna need to take a break soon. Goodness. We'll go back to Yuri's. Yes. Yawn. Damn, I've been sleeping since I came back. It's very late again. Has Yuri come back yet? Doesn't seem like it. Huh? That again. Is it possible? I don't even want to think about it. Let's check, just in case. I'm in front of Sigurd's house. Just like this early morning, but... Uh, last early morning? There were no lights on. Sayori. Or maybe just like yesterday? Sayori! Nothing. I'll try it in turn then. Just breaking into the girl's house in the middle of the night, no problem. A chill runs down my spine just as I enter. I can't find the light switch. It's very dark. I'll use my phone light then. It somehow got darker. Before I know it, I'm in front of Sarah's room. Room door, yeah. For some reason, I feel sick just by looking at this door. I knock. No response. I gently open the door. It's all bugged out. Ah, man. There's no one. But just staying inside this room is making me feel unwell. Like something is not right. It doesn't seem like Sarah has come yet. And it's pretty late come home yet? Hmm, this is a rope. It has been torn off. The other part is hanging from the roof. She's a walk-in corpse. Impossible. Siri wouldn't do that. There's a dried something on the floor. 
And on the rope. It can't be on the rope. It's red. It can't be, right? It's Sayori. Hey, Sayori. Um, sorry for intruding. I was just nervous. Sayori? She just walks past me silently, and you probably could have just moved her to that position instead of her starting her from all the way on the left. Just sits against the wall. She's not moving. It's almost like she's not even breathing. Yori? Sayori? No answer. I approach and touch her hand. She's very cold. Her face is cold too. I don't like this. Also, I feel something is wrong with this scarf. As I try to remove it... What? I can't move! <laughs> Ali! Uh, someone is behind me! You can't do that, Ali! It's still too early. What? What's this person talking about? Just go to sleep, Hallie. The time when we will be together is near. What? Game's exploding. Ah. Ah, we're back here. Back in the nightmare. Alright, this is as good a place to stop as any for this session. So, we'll pick up next time with more of this. Um, well, actually, I guess this playlist is going to be kind of contiguous. I'm not going to do my usual outro thing. Uh, yeah, I'll record more when I've had the chance to eat and take a little break. I've been going for way longer than I normally do. But yeah, we'll be back with more soon enough. Thanks for watching. Bye.